something kind of crazy just happened to us. So I'll spare you the details of showing you, but uh, parents' worst nightmare. A lady started yelling at me, and she was swearing. I said, is that lady mad at us? All right, guys, we're off to Forks. Yay. Are you excited? Yeah. There's Papa over there dumping our gray water. Almost ready to go? Yeah, I'll dump the tanks. And I'll follow you. I'm gonna get fuel and I don't think you need any any gas, so. But I'll follow you. Yeah, follow me yeah. anyway. That's one thing that we do differently now since, Maple's gonna sing while I talk. Since uh, COVID is, I follow him closely on our travel days. I used to go separately whenever I would leave, whenever I felt like it. Me and the girls would even stop at a playground or an indoor playground. <laughs> Obviously, we don't do any of that anymore. So I follow Michael closely the whole way because we just, we prefer being together. And honestly, I kind of like it. So I'll spare you the details of showing you, but uh, parents' worst nightmare, one of them, just happened and Olive threw up in the car. We're on our way to Forks, it's a windy road. Hopefully that's all it is. But we pulled over, I'm gonna take her out and take her in the Airstream and take care of her. So update on Olive throwing up in the car. She was in good spirits, so I don't think she's sick. I think maybe she's car sick. We'll find out when we take her temperature. But anyway, we just cleaned up as much as we could and then kept going because it, we figured it's easier to just get there and then stick her in the bath. So she's sitting back here still with, you know, some puke on her and stuff. But she fell asleep right away and just slept the whole time. So it wasn't that bad. It does kind of stink in here. <laughs> but, and at one point the other girls were like, I, I'm gonna throw up too. So we got them both buckets. I thought about it and it's actually surprising that they haven't vomited more. So <laughs> we were due for a good vomit and we got one and it's fine. The great thing about Olive now that she's two is that I can talk to her and reason with her. I explained to her what happened and that I was gonna take care of her and we were gonna get to the campsite. Oh, bug and then take a bath and stuff. And she was completely receptive to what I was saying and didn't just cry like she used to. So it's all good. Oh. How's it looking? It's okay, I think it's big enough. So good. this is our site. Now I'm in our site, so now I'm just gonna level it out. Okay. So I'll have to park somewhere else maybe? I don't know, we'll see after I'm done. Okay. There's room for you. We're in Forks. have their bucket. Lyndon, show me. I have mine. Just bucket. in case. I have my bucket. Your barf bucket. <laughs> Yesterday, yeah, yeah, Olive got sick on the windy road into Forks, so we're just being extra careful and everyone's got their bucket today while we drive to the Ho Rainforest. We're in Olympic National Park and we're driving into the Ho Rainforest and we're gonna take a little hike at the Hall of Mosses. It's a windy road, so I'm driving slow. It's about an hour from our campground. The drive itself is so scenic. There, the Ho River is on our right. I'm seeing trees that I've never seen before, like these big trees just covered in moss. The interesting thing about the Ho Rainforest is that it's a coniferous rainforest, which is an extremely rare type of rainforest. Usually rainforests are tropical, so to be able to experience a coniferous rainforest is a really special thing. Already the the trees that I'm seeing are different than anything I've ever seen before. Kind of like when I went to Charleston and saw saw those trees there with all the moss. I mean it's different but it it's similar in the sense that I'm seeing trees that I've never seen before in my life. They're tall and skinny and they're kind of bridged over the road in a triangle and they're covered in moss. Super cool. Hi, we have a national parks pass. Oh, 
sure. Thanks. <laughs> he handed us our map with a claw on a stick. That was pretty cool. Go check out the Hall of Mosses yeah, but are you mini trail. That sounds right up our alley. We like to do hikes that are between a half mile and a mile and a half if we're feeling really ambitious. So a mini trail sounds like the thing for us. You gonna say uh oh. Why? Uh -oh. Hmm. This is a butt, not an olive. It's a butt. Look at all the green, green, green moss. And it's so clear. You can see right down to the bottom. It's so pretty. Most rainforests are tropical. Before now, I really only thought rainforests were tropical. But this is a coniferous, sure. But this is a coniferous rainforest, which is extremely rare. I don't even know if there's others in the world. If anyone knows, comment below and tell me where there are other coniferous rainforests in the world because I want to go to them. Look at that funny thing. I'm confused about what it is. It looks like it's been cut by a human, but I don't really understand why. It's a weird tree. It what looks it like a upside down foot. Yeah. Yeah. We can't come all the way here, come across Maple Grove and not check it out. So we're going to take a little detour. I was going to take a picture, but it doesn't really do it justice because if you turn around, you see all the maple trees. And if you look on the ground, you just see tons of maple leaves. Last night we looked at a bunch of YouTube videos of people Maple. coming to this trail. So we saw this arch last night on the iPad. So it's fun to come here and see it in real life after seeing it on the iPad. All the trees here are covered in moss. I think there's tons of different species of different epiphytes that are growing on the trees and then there's another species growing on that species and there's just different types of epiphytes and moss everywhere. Some of them are long, like five feet long, and some are on the ground. They've fallen off the tree, I assume. That's what Maple picked up. It feels like nowhere I've ever been before, that's for sure. Oh, we got a tumbler in the leaves. Something kind of crazy just happened to us. A lady turned around, started yelling at me, saying, can you please stand back five? And she was swearing, five beep minutes so I can, so I don't have to hear your beep kids. So apparently our kids are too loud for her. Um, I thought maybe, I, I don't know what I thought. So I said, I said, are you serious? Cause I was so surprised. I mean, I, we're having a lot of fun. We're just, we're hanging out in nature. Yeah, they're, they're saying like, look at that, look at that. And they're, yeah, they're kind of loud, but we're outside. I don't know. I was just really surprised. I'm, I don't know how I feel. I mean, I feel, I feel bad for her. I don't feel bad for her. <laughs> Obviously she's having a bad day. She, I think she was alone. I, I don't know. Yeah. So she yelled at me and she swore at me in front of the girls asking us to just hold, hold back for five minutes so she could have a break from hearing our beeping kids. There's all types in the world. I said, is that lady mad at us? I think she's mad at the world. No. I don't want to be the type of person that's oblivious and, and ruining someone's good time. But, you know, we're outside. I just, I don't know. But I will try to be more aware of our joy. <laughs> we I mean, were having such a good day. It's not like they were screaming and crying. They were, like, exclaiming about their excitement of over all these cool trees and the moss and everything and they were laughing like it was joy it was if it was loud it was loud joy but maybe that makes some people mad but I'm just gonna try not to let it bother me too much and let it roll roll off but I will try to be a little more aware when we start to get loud whenever someone's super rude out of the blue like that and aggressive I try to remember that they're probably going through something themselves and try not to let it affect me or us too much, but it's still pretty pretty shocking and jarring when something like that happens to you. I mean, I normally don't get into confrontations with people and have people yell at me and swear at me, not, especially not in front of the kids. So yeah, it was, it was a little upsetting, but <laughs> I'm not gonna let it ruin our day. I wonder where that lady is now. Is she ahead of us? Yeah. Oh. You don't need to worry about that lady. Yeah, she's mean though. Yeah, that's the thing is that like, 
she could have said, hey, could you guys try to keep it down? I'm trying to enjoy the nature and the quiet. And I would have been so receptive to that. And I would have been like, you know, felt bad and been like, oh, you know, you guys, we should keep it down. There's some people who come here for solitude and peace and stuff, but she didn't take that approach at all. <laughs> our second day of hiking in the Ho rainforest and today we came back to the same spot and did a different trail. There's two trails here. One is about three quarters of a mile and one is a mile and a half. We did the three quarter of a mile one yesterday. That one was the Hall of Mosses. We liked it so much that today we came back and we're doing Spruce Nature Trail. And Spruce Nature Trail is about twice as long and it has a couple more cool features like you get to see the river and we also got to see this really cool fallen down tree where the roots were shaped like a heart. So I thought that was definitely worth it. Maybe I'm jaded or maybe I was affected because we had a, a confrontation with a really mean lady on that trail. So, and I've had such a pleasant experience on this trail. Everyone we've come across has been so nice and I'm extra sensitive. I'm trying to be more quiet. So the people on this trail are nicer than that trail? Yeah, and there's fewer of them. <laughs> well, I feel like I had a peak experience at the river. The river was just so beautiful and calming and just the river makes this trail worth it. If I had to choose to only do one trail, I think I would do Spruce Nature Trail because it's a little bit longer and you get to see the river and also that fallen down tree is just a super cool spectacle. Where's the monster? She thinks that fallen down tree is a monster. You think it's a monster? Yeah. No, what does it all have? Um, um, I'm gonna go What is it actually? Um, um, a tree. Yeah. And the best part is there's fewer people because everyone comes to go see the Hall of Mosses. That's kind of the famous one. The Spruce Nature Trail is not as popular, but it's even more beautiful in my opinion. So if you only have time for one, do the Spruce Nature Trail. Which hike did you like the best? Today's hike or yesterday's hike? I did it. We're at Rialto Beach, which is just 10 minutes from our campground. And I think the most notable thing is all the driftwood and drift logs. There's so many things to climb. The kids are just having so much fun climbing all the logs and the smooth, uh, <laughs> and they found a bunch of kelp too. I don't really want to be wrapped around in kelp. The other interesting thing is that instead of sand, the beach is made up of tons and tons of pebbles. The closer you get to the shore, the smaller they are. What did you find? This. What does it say? I don't know. And Lyndon noticed right away that these are the exact size and shape of rocks that we've been finding painted all over neighborhoods. So she's really excited about that and we want to paint some ourselves. What is it? 
a heart. Somebody painted a heart on there? Mm -hmm. As soon as we got here, Lyndon said, there's millions of painting rocks. It's neat how driftwood is all soft and smooth like this, and this beach is just covered in it. What's that for? I don't know. Is it a target? Like for shooting? Is it for boats to see where the shore is? That's what I bet it is. I bet it's a height for... Oh, maybe that's when the tide comes in, maybe that's the height of the tide. Or tsunami height. Well, that's probably why it says no camping here, because if you're camping and the tide comes in, that would not be good. I don't think there's anything more entertaining for them than a rock pile. What animal am I thinking about? Potatoes. Potatoes. Nope, starts with S. A snake. Good guess. That's not it though. Climbs trees. And it's a monkey. Is it a squirrel? Oh, those are very good guesses. It climbs trees and it holds, it holds. Is it a monkey? Trees like this. Is it a monkey? A sloth. Yeah, sloth. How about another one? Okay, it hops. Buddy. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Yeah. Did you love the beach? Yeah.